Hello Squeakers, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer. And we are continuing our Dwarf campaign. Uh, as you can see, we have taken all of the Silver Road here. Uh, we have recruited uh, nine units with Ungram Iron Fist, our current uh, legendary lord. And as you can also see, we have a unit over here that tried to sneak one by us and come over. I think maybe he might be heading for uh, Mount Gunbad over there. Um, uh, but in any case, we're going to be heading that direction here. The slayer in me seeks death. Well, stop slaying. Uh, we're going to hit the turn button one more time here. Get us another round of... Uh-oh. Uh Oh, really? That 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 guy over there that was here, he started raiding in our area. Uh, okay, one thing about dwarves. We don't care about magic. Uh, the only thing we care about with magic is how to, like, remove it from the battlefield. Dwarves are naturally spell resistant. Uh, and we have, like, heroes that are anti-magic. It's great. Uh, okay, so we have another grudge. We have to take out that that grobby that uh, dared to raid in our area. So we're going to defeat him in battle. Uh, let's see. Trade trade agreement dissolved. Why are whoa? Why did we lose our trade? Oh, oh man, these guys took, uh, oh man, they took that settlement from Barak Var. Uh, let's see, that's in, that's the Blood River Valley. Oh, okay, Barak Var, uh, you, you're, you're not doing so hot. You're, you're getting your butt, your backsides kicked. My axe thirsts for war, for the wisdom of Valea. Who's this? Why does this say... Oh, okay, he's laying siege. Okay, so it looks like what happened is since uh, they came in and took that, um, that, uh... Yeah, uh, they've blocked off our trade, so... We're gonna have to get uh, get our, our guy to hurry up and finish up. There we go. Okay, so we have our possibility for grudge throwers here. Um, okay, so what we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to wait a couple of turns, wait for this uh, uh, to this uh, for this to upgrade, so we can upgrade this. Um, because I don't want to just roll over there with only with only warriors. Although I suppose I could. Um, Ready. Yeah, I could recruit. Uh, I could recruit my grudge throwers right now, which uh, I'm eventually going to want one, two of them. Uh, and we have to wait on the corollers to fix uh, uh, to or the that thing to upgrade anyway. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And so. We are building our army, and we will come over here, and we will take this back. Um, and we may just go over there and sack it. Uh, just just roll over there, crush it, and then sack the area uh, so that Barak Var can come in and take it back. And uh, they'll be able to hold on to it, because I don't necessarily want Blood River Valley. Um, I ain't doing that. And uh, if you know, if I'm going to have Blood River Valley, I'm, I want the whole. I, if I want a war. province, I want to take the whole province. And I would rather Barak Var hold this area and 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 maintain it. Uh, and in, in which case, I'm going to need to help him. Uh, in fact, let's go over. We've lost our trade. That is not cool. That is totally not cool. War coordination, buddy. We we need to. You you need to take. Okay, coordination. 
you need to take that place. I promise I will come and help you as soon as my uh, my my second uh, thing is built. That and I. What can the Dowie do for you? That this I fine promise. Day? <laughs> well, you can give us military access there, sir. Um, and and since it's high, we want to, you to give us some money. Excellent. And you want a defensive alliance too. And um, we really want you to give us some money. Excellent. Give us that money. All right. <clears throat> oh, oh, and we have found two more dwarven territories. Excellent. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do for come, these guys. Come, in. Let okay. us feast and drink. Military alliance. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Well, I, I guess I kind of get that. Uh, Kara Kern. You may speak before my shield bearers and on the oath stone. We're, we're gonna go for a non aggression act. Okay, good. Non aggression pact. Uh, and Karak Kadrin. Uh, what do you proposal. want? Non aggression pact. Beards, yes, yes. Alright, so, whoops. Um, so we're, we're doing pretty well here. Um, I just wanted to make sure that that we began our diplomatic relations with our with our dwarves. Uh, Averland. I will listen, but my time is short. Non-aggression, brother. All right. I, I won't mess with you. You don't mess with me. That's how that works. Eh, border princes. Deliver your message. Eh, is this a waste of time? Yeah, it's a waste of time. Douche, border douchebags is what they are. All right. <laughs> uh, and eventually, we're going to have to do something about you. But for now, you're not a big deal. All right. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, hey, they're coming over here. And they're trying to take Grand Peak. Okay, so we're going to have to hurry. Because we. Uh, I, I need Mount Gunbad, if nothing else. Uh, that gold mine, plus the fact that uh, it has a special little thing there that I really want, um, we we need to we need to start making our way over there. So, ready, brother, it's time to go take Fire out that guy. Man. All right, because uh, we have a grudge to 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 do. And we already did our other thing. Do we have any building we need to do? No. Um, which is fine. We'll just we'll just keep building up our our resources. Do we want a hero? Oh, that's right. We uh, we need to open that up before we can get uh, heroes. So uh, okay, let's go to the next turn. Um, let's speed this up a bit. We don't need to have all the details here. Mount Squighorn. He's... He's still raiding us. One rug. Where are you, you... To battle! Eventually, you're gonna. Uh, we're 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 either going to hit this, or we're uh, or we're gonna hit you. One way or another, we're gonna get you. All right. Okay. We definitely want to upgrade this because we need to get our growth going. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And that will increase our growth and give us the opportunity to to upgrade our barley field or barley field to a greenery. Uh, this is will also increase our growth. That's good because we need more growth, um, and that'll give us an opportunity to increase this as well and open this up. Which, ooh, our public order is not doing so hot, um, really. And that's why why are we having so much trouble? Hmm. Well, we're gonna need more. Uh, See, that's strange because we have. It is time. 
what? I mean, we have. Um, right. For the wisdom of Valea. We we have an in a place in. Uh, I mean, you would figure that it would. There there would have some sort of military presence uh, bonus to be able to. Uh, decrease or to increase our public order. Uh, all right. Uh, that's all right. Uh, we'll we'll. Oh, it's because oh, it's because they're raiding us. That's why. I'm after you. All right. Next turn we'll have a technology boost. So. Excellent. That's more. Oh, oh, come on. Uh, these there's some random events that just happen quite literally randomly, and it they sometimes uh, give us negatives, sometimes it's positives. In this case, we're getting negative. Uh, all right. At least we got this going. Um, now I'm gonna hold off. On, although I, I, one thing that we definitely need to go and get is the heavy quern stones. That's uh, going to add to our growth as well. Growth is very important, especially for our capital. Uh, and eventually we're going to want that too, but. Uh, do I want to push for this? I'm going to push for this, and then... See, this, uh, this, uh, in oh, that's empowers the guilds, com uh, the empower of the guilds, uh, increases growth. Or do I want to start down this path now? Because I kind of want to get my... My throngs... My, my, my dwarf warriors and my, and my quarrelers... Going. Do I want to do growth first? Or do I want to do this? You know what? I'm going to do this next. And then I'll do... Uh, I'll, I'm going to get these two. Get these two. And then I'll do two market corn stones. Uh, all right. And it looks like he took off. Coward. All right. Squig. Okay, so there's our... Okay, so first things first. We upgrade that. And then... Let's see. Let's do something to increase our... our uh, our public order. Uh, I think that would be wise. Looks like this is, uh, we're finally starting to turn that around. Uh, so that's nice. Um, but we kind of had to burn through our treasury to get to that point, which is fine. Um, yeah, I mean, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, hopefully, oh boy, dude, you abandoned it? Dude, they're about to wipe you out if you don't do something. That is totally not cool. I I'm definitely going to have to come down here with, uh, with this guy and just start raiding and sacking these things so that he can take them back. Uh, I got this over here to start doing you Yeesh. get on it all right uh, let's... Onward. all right before we do this I'm I'm just gonna save my game <laughs> uh, okay so we're going to call this uh, this was my practice game that I went uh, that I did uh, we're gonna call this what are we gonna call this we're gonna call this uh, Dwarven Campaign YouTube. 
YouTube. <laughs> All right, and then let's resume the game. Uh, now I'm not I'm not going to do like a bunch of uh, uh, like save cheese or anything like that. Uh, but I do want to make sure that um, that that at the very least I I'm not going to have something that's just catastrophic to my game. Uh, and, and all of a sudden, I find myself with no way to be able to continue. Are we gonna... Oh, I can't do it yet. <laughs> can I... Can I recruit? Like, maybe... Like, one of Very these. Very well. This may work. I, I'm gonna recruit one of these, um, just so I'll have a grudge thrower in the upcoming battle. Uh, I gotta wait a, a round anyway, so uh, and that's gonna boy that really uh, that, that tore up our thing again. So but that's all right. Uh, okay, let's uh, diplomacy one more time. Uh, oh hey Zephbar. Okay hey dude. Uh, let's see. Oop! Why did it do that? Doggone it. I wish you would not do that. Okay, so war coordination. Okay, apparently he's going to go after that and take it. Um, <clears throat> uh, I want you to go after... Well, no, I can't. Uh, I'm not enemies with them. Uh, shoot. The only way I'd be able to get him off of that is if it is sending him there, and I don't want to send him there. So, okay. Um, Honor to your ancestors. Military alliance. Okay. Not a problem. Uh, back out of this. What about you? Greetings, Kinnaman nope. of the Hook. And what about you? Make your proposal. Okay. My long beards grumble, so make. Oh, okay. Uh, what about Defensive Alliance? Alright. Uh, Zufbar. Aye. Let's hear what you have to say. Military Alliance. Okay, not yet. Uh, they need some time. They need to see me killing more uh, more of the orcs and, and goblins and such, and we shall do so. And there you are. Trust me, pal. I'm coming for you. All right, uh, but for now, I think that's going to end the turn. My lord, a rival power desires a change in your mutual relations. Ah, now Barakvar is asking me for a military alliance. Well, uh, I do want that. Uh, we're just going to accept it. Yes. Oh, he retreated back to his uh, to his city. Ugh, that's not good. All right. Uh, before I take on this quest battle, I'm just gonna do a quick look. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we're all this is is okay. Summon me if you dare. Uh, I don't dare. I don't dare, man. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so next turn, that will I'll be able to um, recruit some stuff for him. Um, I think we're good for now, and I'm not worried too much about diplomacy at the moment. So here I'm we not. go. Uh, oh, and let's uh, just to be on the safe side. No, no catastrophic problems. All right, then let's see what we can do about this quest. I must fulfill my Slayer Oath. All right, uh, this uh, this isn't bad. Uh, we got fairly standard, fairly standard uh, units. Ooh, one unit of trolls. Uh, we're going to have to hold back our slayers to take on those trolls. But we can do that. That's totally not a problem. 
All right. <clears throat> That's what uh, slayers are for—to take on those big units. So we have we have slayers for that. All right. Um, so this uh, particular battle was done. Um, this this battle was shown by um, uh, by w when this war when this game first came out they had this battle as one of its uh, example battles gameplay examples so I kind of know sort of what's going I mean it's a little random as to what happens <clears throat> but uh, the general melee in front. And let's back... Whoa, whoa, not that far back. Uh, that's a little bit further up. Uh, and then I can kind of adjust from there. Because I want to have these guys on top, and I want to have my... Yeah. Uh, let's see. Maybe just a little bit... Oh. Okay, a bit farther. Okay, so that way these guys are on a slope. These guys are below the slope. I'm going to have these guys stay back here for when inevitably the... Um, inevitably there will be... Somebody will try to flank around and get these guys or, and or the trolls will appear. In which case I will save them and send them to the trolls. Uh, you... Right there, and let's see. Those are the long beards, dwarf warriors, dwarf warriors, dwarf warriors. I'm going to put these guys over here. And I'm going to put my long beards in the middle uh, because the long beards actually um, uh, increase the leadership bonuses, I believe. And we're going to put these guys over here uh, because eventually, uh, of course, the main. The main section is going to come from over here, but since we have enforcements, the enforcements could come from here, they could come from here, or they could come from back there. So we're going to have to be uh, a little mindful, and we're probably going to be hitting that pause button uh, so that I, I can kind of gather my wits uh, and, and not get flustered. So, okay, so first of all, where are the first reinforcements coming from. We are ambushed by foul greenskins. Okay, that's where the first one is, so stop. Uh, okay, so we are going to take these guys, have them target there. And Oh, uh, one thing I want to make sure we do is I'm going, whoops. Come on. Why? Stop doing that. No, no, no. Stop. Uh, shoot. We're going to have these guys redeploy like that. Um, and then, why am I not able? There we go. Why is it doing that? Come on. Oh my gosh. Why can I not make the box? There we go. Uh, we're going to have all these guys. Uh, guard. That way they don't go chasing off after uh, la di da -di everybody. They stay in place and protect our, our units. Um, except him. He doesn't have to be in guard mode. He can go chasing off after people if he wants to. Um, and you also can go chasing off after people if you want to. So, okay, so we already have these guys ready to go firing on them. We're going to have you also fire on them since they're not close enough to start firing on those guys. Are they? Are they close enough? No, no, not even, not even close. So we'll wait a little bit longer for them to, to show, get closer and unpause. Unleash the the arrows. And all right, uh, let's have you Oops. fire on the goblin archers. 
Come on in. The water's fine. Hold the line. Take the hit and give it back. Keep firing. Ah, okay, now there's the other group over there. Uh, is it? Let me... Okay, pause button. <laughs> uh, okay, so... It doesn't look like they're within range yet, so we're going to go ahead and turn these guys around and have them fire on them. You are going to turn and fire on them, and you are going to... Re oh. Hold on. <laughs> Redeploy that direction. All right, and go. All right, looks like that group is already fleeing. Reloading. For the Karas Angor. And I'm going to have you hold in place. Oh, no, what are you doing? Why are these? No, get your butts back here. Why? Were you going herring off over there? No one told you to do that. Oh, good grief. All right, so... I, I don't know what happened there. I don't know why. Get in guard position and hold that line. What's wrong with you? All right. Start unloading over there. Hey, I told you. I did put you in guard position, right? Why are you way out there? All right, you get into those wolf riders. You attack. You attack. You uh, attack. You shoot them. Oh, there we go. And you get into them. Shoot him down, shoot him down, shoot him down. You start firing over there. Alright, looks like they are... Get in there. You two. Start chasing these guys down. Alright, well done, Slayers. Alright. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, don't, don't go chasing them off the field now. You, go after uh, Backbiter. You get in on these uh, on these goblins. You start firing on these goblins. Or well, actually, no, actually, you're doing pretty good firing on them. So get after those goblins. Oh boy, I, I so much for my my tidy dwarven lines. I didn't do that very well. <laughs> Keep smashing those guys. Oh, I think they're all running. I think they're all running. 
Alright. Thank you, uh, allied gyro chopter, uh, gyrocopters. Well, that wasn't perfect, but, uh, I guess it could have been worse. Decisive victory. Uh, I would have preferred less, uh, less losses, but uh, that wasn't bad. Uh, we only had, like, a couple of, a couple of guys take it pretty, uh, take it on the chin pretty hard. Uh, but for the most part, we did pretty well. And, uh, and we even managed to capture all the enemy, so <clears throat> that's nice. Gained a rank. Uh, execute the captives. Seek out because we spare no green skins in this game. And Dragon Helm and a, and a Runesmith. Excellent. All right. And there's our King Lun Dragon Slayer. He's a he's a he's a a Runesmith. His name is King Lun Dra Dragon Slayer. <laughs> eh. I don't like the name. I don't like the name King Lun. I like Dragon Slayer, but I don't like King Lun. Let's call him. Uh, let's call him. Uh, let's call him. Uh, let's call him. Uh, Grim Axe Dragon Slayer. I like that. Grim Axe Dragon Slayer. All right, uh, and Ungrim. Let's take a look at your stuff. We have the shield. We have uh, uh, the shield of. He already. He automatically had the the shield of of Talos on him, which I actually want to keep him on. Uh, keep that on him. Um, did we get any skills? Yes, we did. Uh, so let's put another in obstinacy. obstinacy. Um, Grimax Dragon Slayer doesn't currently have anything. Um, do we want to give him... No, I think I'm going to give Rorik Dra uh, Ironbeard uh, the Dragon Helm. Uh, okay, we don't have any extras of those. Do we have any followers right now? Oh, okay. Uh, let's... Okay, so right now, Ungram Iron Fist has both the Ruin, the Rune and the Dragons, and the Slayer Ward, so that actually makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and keep everything as is right now. All right, and well done, Ungram Iron Fist. Uh, that's going to, we're going to, that's going to do it for this particular episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, it helps me out very much in these early days. Uh, and as always, if you follow me all the time, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, I still, you know, need those need those subscribers so I can keep making my dream happen. Uh, and as always, everyone, always remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars, but it takes someone special to be a lion that squeaks. Squeak on!